NATO increases patrols near Kosovo-Serbia border blockage Pristina. Kosovo NATO troops stepped up patrols in Kosovo on Monday near border crossings, which have been blocked by local Serbs angered by a ban on cars with Serbian license plates entering the country in a mounting confrontation. Video footage showed NATO armored vehicles moving close to the barricades made of trucks and other vehicles on the Kosovo-Serbia frontier. As Serbian government jets flew overheard, Serbs from Kosovo's north have blocked two main roads since the number plate ban went into force on Monday last week, exacerbating tensions between the two countries and prompting calls for calm from NATO and the European Union. Under the ban, all drivers from Serbia must now use temporary printed registration details that are valid for 60 days. The Kosovo government says it is in retaliation for measures in force in Serbia against drivers from Kosovo since 2008, when Kosovo declared independence from Serbia. Serbia does not recognize Kosovo's independence and therefore its right to take official actions, such as registering cars. Serbia has also begun military maneuvers near the border and started flying military jets above the crossing in protest. Serbia lost control over Kosovo in 1999 after NATO bombing. Kosovo declared independence in 2008, backed by the United States, Britain, and most EU member states, but its membership of the United Nations is blocked by Russia. Serbia's traditional ally Belgrade and Pristina committed to an EU sponsored dialogue in 2013 to resolve outstanding issues, but little progress has been made. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And Nicholas Karasch, the longtime federal prosecutor in Vermont, is nominated to run the office there. The other nominees include longtime federal prosecutors Dina King, who has been in charge of prosecuting violent crime and narcotics cases in the Western District of North Carolina, is proposed to run the U.S. Attorney's Office there and would be the first black person to hold the position. And Kenneth Parker is being nominated for the Southern District of Ohio. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.